Uh, hey YouTube, Debbie Cashin here. Uh, Cashin, um, David, Cash, all the above's good. Wanted to, uh, which I don't give this channel much time, but I need to. I got a, uh, finally got my HGO Calmar limited edition chrono in and wanted to show that to you. Um, and um, here is, I've got it opened already. Uh -oh. Here is the presentation. Pelican case. Um, I have it set up currently on, I haven't worn the HTO bracelet yet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the watch, but I have it on a uh, polished and brushed Engineer 2 bracelet. There's the thickness of this very thick watch, German made. It's got the uh, lug holes for the change of strap, straight in lugs, turbine turn by bezel, case back. You can see that. Um, actually, interesting enough, these these pushers, while screwed out as they are, you can't engage them. So they have to be screwed down to engage. And I assume that's for the um, for the water resistance. But it's a beautiful watch. It's German made through and through. Um, not happy with H2O in the way they did me. They made me wait almost a year for this watch. Um, then shipped it to an address, my old address, after I stressed to him not to ship it there. So I had to intercept it. So. The owner of H2O to me is worthless. I don't like him. I won't order another watch from my H2O. This is the last watch I'll ever order. It's a nice watch. Don't get me wrong. I love it. I'm going to wear it. Um, but he won't get my business anymore. I won't send any more business. I mean, I won't. I won't. Uh, I, <clears throat> it's up to you whether you want to take a chance and, and mess with the, with the bastard that, that that'll screw you. If you if you if you question him about a watch having to wait on a watch a year, which I waited on this watch eleven months, and I think it's ridiculous. But um, it's a nice enough watch though. Uh, I ordered the Calmar two; they only had to wait two months on. So pick your poison. But here it is. Um, get you a close up view of it. Let me screw the pushers back down, and I'll engage them and so let's engage now and you can see the chronograph is now operable and it's a nice thick watch I like it um, let's go over the bracelets. He sent me a mesh bracelet, which I had to make him do that for the 11 month wait. There's a mesh bracelet driven made. He might be selling this, so if interested, let me know. Here is the H2O bracelet. Not my favorite. It's all right. It works. My favorite bracelet is this, which is probably what I'm going to put back on it, is the Armada 22 millimeter bracelet, which is what I usually wear on it. I haven't even worn the HTO bracelet yet. Um, and then also have this combination of the Engineer 2 brushed and polished, as you can see there. Got the brushed and then the polished and are intertwined. And then I have a brushed Engineer 2 bracelet. Used to have a Engineer 1 bracelet, but uh, I don't know where it's at. Let's see if it's in here. I really want the bandolier, but this is a 22 millimeter lug. So I was thinking these would be, be a 24 millimeter lug, but it's not, it's 22 millimeters. So uh, it's got a brush side and I'll show you what it looks like on the wrist. Last but not least, and there you go. Looks good. 44 millimeters. Um, nice and thick. Good little watch. 
So there you have it. Uh, comes with the Neto strap. Comes with a, uh, let me put this back in here. I would say it came with this, but I'd just be joking. <laughs> it's my Apple Pencil too. Um, it comes with a black strap, which I won't wear. Um, now I might put this bracelet on it. I mean, this strap, which is would be pretty cool. So I'm gonna put that in my little box here. This is a custom made, the travel stitching um, strap. And then uh, of course comes with the uh, warranty card. So that is it guys, uh, maybe girls. I don't know. Girls like big watches. Um, this, uh, I have a 24 millimeter in this Armada strap as well that I'll use. I mean, that I won't, won't use. I've, I've used in the past. Now you will use on all straight analog, straight analog uh, watches. So um, that's all I've got for you today. I uh, just want to let you know that um, I don't like H2O. Not anymore. Not after the way he did me. And you guys know who I'm talking about. Not gonna name drop, but you know who know who owns H2O. So, not happy with the guy. I think he's. Uh, I think he did me did me really wrong, just because I got upset because I had to wait almost a year for a watch, and he didn't like being called out. And when you can't handle the truth, you're not a man. Bottom line. So, um, that's it. That's the H2O uh, Calmar Chrono limited edition but there's no limited edition number or serial number on it so i don't know <laughs> how do you say something's a limited edition when it's not numbered so uh might want to take that up with uh clemens uh, maybe he can tell you she will lie to you so so anyway i hope you guys have a good day and i'll see you soon peace